Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Police say a man shot a woman and then shot and killed himself in North Columbus tonight. That woman is in the hospital fighting for her life. Police are calling this a domestic incident. The city has already outpaced the number of domestic violence related homicides from last year. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris spoke with a domestic violence shooting survivor in a story you'll only see on 10 TV. Yeah, Joelton Farmer tells me she is only alive because of her son. Columbus police say her husband shot and killed her son, then shot Joelton. My son closed his eyes so that I was able to open mine. Joelton Farmer says she now joins the club of domestic violence survivors. In April, Columbus police say her husband, Alfred Davis, shot both Joelton and her son, Joshua. Shots rang out. Um, I witnessed, I, I witnessed my son, my son was shot, and um, he took his last breath in front of me. Joshua did not survive. Alfred has been charged with murder. I had to lay my son to rest from a hospital bed. So far this year, there have been 13 people who have lost their lives from domestic violence. There were seven in all of last year in the city of Columbus. The most recent happened Monday. Columbus police say 20 year old Kennedy Cowens was shot and killed by Miles Gibson. He is still on the run. My family and I, we are on the wrong side of history in the city of Columbus. This domestic violence in the city, it has got to stop. She still needs daily care from all the gunshot wounds she received, but she is strong enough to tell others in situations like hers to get help and look for the signs. A change in personalities just become more aware of people that you come in contact, especially your family. And if you or anyone you know needs help from a domestic violence situation, we have listed resources on our website. That's 10TV.com. Reporting live, Lacey Chris, 10TV News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.